Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series and in this video we're going to log into our new IBM Cloud account for the very first time and we're going to do that at cloud.ibm.com so what we're going to do is log in we're going to have a quick look around the console okay so here I am in my browser at cloud.ibm.com and I'm ready to log into my account so I've already uh, entered my IBM ID uh, so if you're wondering what your IBM ID is well basically it's the email address that you use to register your account. So that automatically becomes your IBM ID. So enter that and then press continue and then enter in your password and press login. Okay, and there we have it. I'm now logged into my account. And whenever you log into your account, what you'll find is that you come to this screen here, which is uh, otherwise called your dashboard. So a very quick view around your dashboard. So first of all, in this um, pane here, you'll always see a resource summary. So the resource summary is basically a list of all the services and different resources that you've created within your account. So right now, obviously there's nothing there because I've not created any resources. Um, in this box here, if there's any planned maintenance that's coming up that's going to affect your account or the services you've got running in it, then you'll see them listed here. Uh, again, I've not got any services, so uh, right now there's no planned maintenance that I need to worry about. Uh, this box over here was basically giving me some ideas for different tools that I might want to use next. So again, this is quite often based on um, the kind of services that I'm creating. So this um, has some intelligence built into it as well. Um, so if you're interested in the services that might complement the resources you've already created, um, hopefully they'll be shown here. Uh, down here we've got a, a panel which is just showing some news from around IBM and IBM Cloud. Uh, this panel is probably quite interesting. So if you have any support cases, then um, you can get a summary of them here. So you can see what the latest status of any support cases is. Um, with this panel here, um, around user access, if you want to start inviting users to use your account, and we'll cover that in uh, another uh, lesson, then uh, you can start to uh, start the process off here or, or, or use the screens, but this gives you a bit of a shortcut. Um, this panel here is giving you a quick overview of the status of IBM Cloud. So at a glance, you can see if there are any issues or problems in any of our regions. So right now, you can see that there's a, there's a, um, a minor incident going on uh, around the Asia-Pacific region. So if I were to click on there, it would come up and, and show me some more details of what's going on. And then last of all, we have um, this usage panel. So again, I, this is blank because I don't have any uh, services created. If I've had some services created, then it would give me a breakdown here of the usage. And if they were paid for usage, then it would give me a breakdown of what my or an overall number for my current costs. Okay, so that's very quickly the, um, the, the different panels on the dashboard. So then across the top here, you have a number of menu options. So, um, so first of all, uh, let's click the, the hamburger here. So if you click the hamburger, you can then, uh, there's then a much uh, bigger menu that, that appears. So um, we won't go through all of this at the moment, but again, there's some shortcuts here for things like the resource list. If you want to start using classic infrastructure, then it's a shortcut to that. Some Cloud Foundry options are under here as well. Again, we'll talk about Cloud Foundry later. Function and Kubernetes and OpenShift are different uh, uh, services that are available in IBM Cloud. So it's a shortcut to some of the pages there, as is VMware and obviously Virtual Private Cloud as well. Um, so basically, all of these are effectively shortcuts to some of the more popular services in that particular bar there. Uh, if you're uh, if you're ever somewhere and you want to return to the dashboard, all you need to do is click the IBM Cloud logo there and you'll straight back to the dashboard each time. Uh, you've then got a search bar. So if you want to search a topic, I don't know, let's say VPC, then you can type in VPC and uh, it will then suggest some topics for you. So it's a shortcut. Um, it's, it's then given me a, a schematics um, chart for a two-zone VPC. Um, it's given me a shortcut to block storage and load balances and things for VPC. Uh, you can also start to search VPC in support cases and also in, in docs as well. So again, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a powerful uh, search bar there. Catalog we've already kind of looked at in some of the, um, some of the earlier videos, but um, if you want to go and have a look at the catalog, and again, we'll, we'll have a video on the catalog later. Uh, but if you want to go and have a look at the catalog and all the different services, click on the catalog. Uh, next along here, we have docs. So uh, docs is obviously short for documentation. 
So um, if you want to go and have a, a look around the, uh, the the documentation for IBM Cloud, uh, click on the uh, the docs. We'll go and look at that in a second. Support is also up here. So again, support is quite important. So we'll go and have a look at that in a second as well. Um, so next up, we have manage. So uh, let's go and have a look at the options on the manage. So on the manage, you can then start to manage different aspects of your account. So um, enterprise, if you have an enterprise level account, we'll talk about that in a, in a different video. But if you've got an enterprise account, then you can uh, you can go and have a look at managing your enterprise from here. Um, then you've got some account details, you've got billing and usage, um, access for IAM. We'll cover this in a later video, but this is basically where, again, you start to invite users to your account and set up access privileges and rights for them. And then you've got different catalogs that you can use as well. So, um, so, so we'll, we'll go and have a look at a couple of those in a moment. Then we have the IBM Cloud Users account here. So at the moment, there's only one if I click on that, it's not really doing anything. But if you've been invited to other people's accounts, and if you click on here, you'll get a drop down list of the different accounts, and you'll then be able to switch between them and use different accounts. Um, the next button along here is a um, the, for the Cloud PowerShell. So if you want to start doing things in a, in a in, in, within a CLI in a command line interface, um, you can you can click on that, and it will very very quickly start creating and actually run a, um, a shell environment for you so you can start using a CLI to actually start driving the uh, to start driving your your cloud so um, we'll, but again we'll cover that in another video later uh, we've also got something here called the cost estimator tool so again there's a video on that uh, later on in the series but if you want to start estimating costs for the different services you can use the cost estimator. Next along here, we have a notification. So one of the things that you might want to do fairly early on is actually set your notifications. So you can manage your email preferences and again, view the cloud status. And again, if there are any instance um, that uh, that are happening that you know maybe your service doesn't seem to be working properly or you can't uh, provision something, then again, you can start to look uh, under notifications to see if there's anything in general going on in the IBM cloud. Okay, and then finally along here, we've got uh, some more details about the about the user. You can go and do some profile and settings changes, um, look at things like um, the privacy and some feedbacks and other bits and pieces, as well as log out here as well. And then just to round off, down the left-hand side, you've got some shortcut buttons. So for instance, this is for uh, classic infrastructure, again, for Cloud Foundry. Uh, this one's for VPC, this one's obviously for VMware, and then our Kubernetes and our OpenShift service. Um, you can actually then click on there and open up the, uh, the, the the larger menu item again as well. Basically, you click any of those and you, it's a shortcut effectively to those particular parts of the cloud. Okay, so that's uh, very quickly then uh, a first look and a very first um, guided tour of the dashboard. And that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. As always, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope you'll join us next time.